Hello, I'm Manoj. I run an electronic product design house. Hi, I'm Sibidharan, founder of Selfmade Ninja Academy. We provide a turnkey solution ranging from PCB design, assembly, manufacturing, and embedded software development. I'm also a technical contributor to the Zephyr project, an open source R project by the Linux Foundation. We have provided a platform where it supports more than 400 MCU boards. With this, you can start your IoT journey just right away from now. We have created labs, a powerful infrastructure for both learners and doers to tinker with both hardware and software. There is a VPN at its heart that binds all the servers and your devices, your hardware, all your systems together under one roof with security built into its design. You can create any powerful backend with labs that could power your IoT and web apps. We support all cutting edge backend technologies for your IoT needs ranging from message queuings like MQTT, databases like NoSQL, MySQL, all sorts. The lab is a sandbox where you can start tinkering with your development and ship your product to a deployment area. Our lab supports more than 400 MCU bots. You can build, test, flash and debug right out of the box. We ensure that you will be tinkering with real technology that is deployable in production. So if you see uh, IoT development as a whole picture, IoT is touching uh, many components. If you look at something like a smartwatch these days, you have displays, you have Wi-Fi, you have Bluetooth. You have a lot of components. You have to use a new technology to develop all this in a shorter time. So there's a need for embedded software to go forward such that uh, you know, you're building a computer software or such that. So that is why uh, you have to use uh, you know, open source tool, leverage all this tool and learn how to use all these tools with a good core fundamental. Because product development has become so complicated that it touched a lot of modules. It is no longer a single team's work to develop a core technology. RTOS is just a term uh, which is a real-time operating system which uh, you want to uh, run on a, typically on embedded systems such as microcontroller. The challenges involved is because a microcontroller comes from a variety of vendors and also architecture. Architecture here I mean something like ARM or RISC-V. So uh, to run uh, RTOS, uh, typically on those old days or typically uh, something like with a free RTOS, you had to configure a lot of things. So to give you an example, you have to configure tool chains such as compiler, linkers, debuggers, a lot of stuff. So uh, with Zephyr, RTOS, what they have put, uh, they have put all these tools in a unified way. You can use it from day one. So what we are doing in the labs is we have taken the power of Zephyr and um, put it together in a, in a single ecosystem and we are providing a lot more IoT services together with it. So you are harnessing the power of RTOS and the accompanying IoT technologies such as MQTT, HTTP, RS and all this thing with, uh, in a unified uh, place.